So the first thing that you want to do when it comes to disassembling the Latitude E7290 is to take out the SIM card tray. And the SIM card tray is on the same side as the Ethernet port and it's just here. It's below the uh, micro SD card reader. And what you're going to use is you're just going to use one of these uh, SIM card pins that you get with your phone. You're just going to stick it in the hole where the SIM card tray is, like so. Press down and it, and it then comes away. So to take off the bottom case, the bottom lid, the bottom case, sorry, of the Latitude 7290, what you're going to do is you need to take out eight Phillips head screwdrivers. And they're here, 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 and here. So here we go. I'll just quickly take them off. Now I found these screws really hard to actually come out completely. So I've kind of loosened them as much as I can. And then I leave them in the cover as I flip it off. And then what I'm going to do is I've just got a plastic pry tool and I'm just going to kind of go between the, the case and the actual body of the laptop. And this is a good place to start up here um, at the top right of the laptop where the case is by the screen. And you can see that my lid has come off very easily um, you may and I've already taken it off once so that's part of the reason but when you do it you may just have to run the pry tool round under between the cover and the actual body of the laptop and then it will just snip off like so so once the bottom cover is off we can then take the battery out and the battery and you can see it here this large black uh, rectangle is held in by two screws, Phillips head screws. So you've got one screw here and one screw here. So need to unscrew these first, put the screws in a safe place. And then also what you've got here is you the battery is held in with a plug here so all we're going to do is the plug the connector has a black tab for you to hold on to just gently pull it up and the battery comes away like so. So to take the screen or the actual lid off the Dell Latitude 7290 we need to unplug a few cables. You've got um, the cables here for the wireless uh, LAN card or the Wi-Fi card as it's also called and if you've got one installed then you need to also um, take out the WWAN card as well which is here and those cables need to be disconnected because you can see those cables run up into the case and then here you've got two screens and a plug which actually plug the laptop screen into the motherboard so we need to take those off and then we've got to um, undo the 
hinges, the screws on the hinges, which actually hold the lid or the screen in place. And there's three of these silver Phillips head screws on each side as well. So first of all, let's um, let's come over here and zoom in a bit more so I can show you what I'm going to do with the wireless card. So I've got a metal bracket over the wireless card which is screwed in with a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to take that off and then we've got a black and a white wire. These are the antennas and can you see here that the black one actually, um, they've got arrows, tiny little arrows showing you where the black one goes and then where the white one goes. So that's really, that's a good, really good for remembering because these things are very fiddly and small. Okay, so that's perfect. We've taken that off. Now I'm going to come over to the other side, I'm going to take off this bracket which protects and secures the screen adapter which plugs into the motherboard. Two Phillips screws again and then you've got just a black tab here. Just gently pull on this tab and you can see that that's disconnected perfectly. Now we've got these three silver screws for the hinge here, here and here. Let me take this off. And then the same over on the other side, so here. Here. And here. And then you can see with those screw those screws off, I can then just lift off the screen like so. And there's the screen or the lid more accurately of the, the latitude seventy two ninety. So next we need to take some of these connectors, disconnect some of these connectors from the motherboard. So here we go, I'm going to take off the CMOS battery here. Just going to ease this connector out a little bit. I'm using my uh, plastic bevel tool and then when it's nice and loose I can pull it out with my thumb and finger the rest of the way. The next one to do is the speaker connector over here. So again, using my bezel tool soon as I can feel it loosening. In fact, I can probably just take that all the way out. If 
there we go so that's the speaker connector off then next to the speaker connector let me see if I can is a tiny connector here let me show you with the bezel tool and that needs to come that needs to be disconnected from the motherboard and this really is teeny tiny so take your time I'm using a bezel tool to be gentler there we go that's come out so that's marvelous so then we're going to come over here and I'm just quickly going to take the RAM out like so then I'm going to take the fan off remember the the fan has got two screws and it's also got a plug and it's connected to the heat sink which has got four screws and all of these screws are the same size so I'm going to take those out And then once again the fan is connected if I can just ease this off the fan is disconnected to the motherboard via a connector which is up here by my black pry uh, by my blue pry tool so I'm just going to ease that out like so perfect and the fan and the heat sink is off so next in the far corner is the SSD let me just so the SSD is just held in with a screw here. Let me just take that out. And then the SSD just unplugs like so. Then in the other corner we have the power adapter. Which needs to come out. So the power adapter is held in via a metal bracket with a Phillips screw so let's take the screw out and using a pry tool let's carefully get the bracket off and just on this corner here I can I can just this corner here there's also we need to be a bit careful of because there's like an overlapping edge which keeps this bracket in place so we do just need to be a bit careful here and there we go that's fine the metal brackets off put it somewhere safe and then this plug in my experience is nice and robust so just with your thumb and your finger just left and right easing it out and there we go that comes out and now we have just got some ribbons to disconnect so we want to disconnect um, these two ribbons here so this one here and this one here so let me just flip them up with the pry tool uh, 
and make sure that they're um, out of the way and they're nice and loose. Good. And now we can begin to unscrew the motherboard. And the motherboard has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or even eight screws in. So let's let's give it a go. Let's follow them around. In fact, there are numbers here. So let me see where. And this all gets me. So if I've got six screws out, that's a seventh screw out. Okay, let's do this eighth screw here and see Okay, so I've got a ninth screw here as well, just underneath the RAM bracket. Let me take that out. And then hopefully, there we go, the motherboard is out. And then if we're looking for a model number or a and part number for it on the back we have it says LAF31 so that's the model number you need for the Dell 7290